Has it been hard to figure out how to help your child with ADHD at home? How to get the homework done, because that can be a sort of major source of frustration. How to get tasks completed or get them re-engaged in life and handle those big emotions. These are all things that have been a challenge for me personally, as I've been raising a child that has ADHD. And when I posted inside of our Facebook group, ADHD What Now?, I found that they were same for other parents, that other parents were also experiencing a lack of clarity on how to help at home with executive function, social emotional skills, and um, a healthy mindset, that those were all important things. So my name is Veronica with ADHD What Now? And about a year ago, I saw a parent post in a Facebook group, my child is just diagnosed with ADHD, what do I do now? And the answer that came back from all the other parents was start your research. I just think there can be a better answer to that question. And so for the past year, I've been looking to develop that better answer. One of the parts of that is creating this upcoming event called ADHD Simplicity at Home. Now, the reason I think this is so important is because like we just said, it's hard to understand those types of things. And as parents in a home environment with kids with ADHD, we need it to be simple. We need it to not feel like additional homework, adding more onto our ready full plates, but how do we make it a simple shift? So first I'm going to share a little bit about my experience and why I think this is an important event. And then I'm gonna shift into who's coming to this event and why it is going to be super exciting. So first off, um, for my experience, what I found was I was getting help for my kiddo in terms of I got went to an occupational therapist, he got some OT help. That was great. I'd come home with some tips and some tricks um, to utilize that were specific to him, which was fantastic, but that didn't always help me figure out how to solve the homework struggles at home. Um, same thing with psychology. He went to a psychologist and he got some help from the psychologist and that was excellent for him. I saw great growth, but I didn't get any information for how do I help his, his um, feelings at home or in everyday life? And I needed that part too. So if you're in the same boat and you wanna grow your child's executive function skills, social emotional skills, and a healthy mindset and know how to do it with simple shifts at home, then this is going to be the event for you. Now, as I mentioned, I have been putting together an answer to that question for the past year. And so what I found over the past year when answering AD, my child has ADHD, what now, is that there are three big components to, to helping a child with ADHD. And those are one, supporting the brain and the body, two, growing skills, and three, having connected relationships. So this comes from interviewing multiple experts and reading numerous books written by multiple experts. Uh, and the great part about the event that's coming up, ADHD Simplicity at Home, is that we have people in there who are going to address each of those three areas that puts together a real holistic picture for supporting your child when they have ADHD. So to introduce the speakers for our event, which I'm so excited about, First off, to address the body and the brain, because ADHD has to do with some underlying neurology challenges, right? So we have coming in BrainWorks, and they are going to talk about um, handling big emotions and how do you help that at a kind of fundamental neurological level. So I'm super excited for Alma Galvin and BrainWorks to come in and take and answer that with simple shifts that we can use at home. Also in that area and moving into the idea of mindset and skills for, for managing our mindset, we have Brendan Mahan, who's going to talk about overcoming the wall of awful, which is, a little, which is not necessarily one of those top level things that comes up when you're talking about kids with ADHD, but just the amount of mindset and how they can start to feel like giving up and how do we help overcome them and help them to re-engage in life. Again, using simple shifts in how we speak with our kids at home. What does that look like? That's what we're covering inside of the event. 
And also you've heard this phrase, I'm sure, that pills don't teach skills. And so an important part of helping a child with ADHD is helping them to grow skills. And that's when we're gonna talk about homework skills, skills around homework and getting tasks done. The kids need skills to be able to do those things. And parents, we need skills to be able to help the kids in those areas. And what exactly does that look like at home? So we have coming in Cindy Goldrich, who is an ADHD coach and um, has been training other ADHD coaches for a number of years. And she's going to come in and address all the, the homework challenges. What simple shifts can we have around homework that can help us to get, have the child get the homework done? And finally, we have the Childhood Collective coming in and they are a team of psychologists and a speech and language uh, professional pathologist who, is going to, who are going to address how to get tasks done at home. So super excited to bring to you this awesome lineup of, of, of brain works with the body specialist and then psychologist and speech and language pathologist and two ADHD coaches coming up in ADHD Simplicity at Home. Register at www.whatnowadhd.com backslash simplicity. See you there. I can't wait.